man who fell in love the business he started because teenage extracurricular activity that beats them all the everyday goods of the disappearing Amazon tribes of South America are works of art in our modern world, sought after by collectors. And in California's Central Valley, enthusiasts will find a most unusual Amazon art dealer. It's worn during the uh, Jingu fish ceremony to summon the water spirits. At the age of 16, Max Barrett has the kind of after-school job that you could say makes him the Doogie Hauser of the art world. He's one of fewer than a dozen people dealing in Amazon art in this country, and his clients soon forget his tender years. I was a little amazed that this young man would have so much talent, and as I got to know him, it was he's so knowledgeable. And Max came over to the house, and my husband and I fell in love with a few of the pieces, and we want to start collecting. When they put it in the blow, then it gives it a little bit of air resistance mm -hmm. so it can fly. From curare dipped blow darts, ceramics, baskets, figurines, and feathered headpieces to jewelry, Max Barrett fell in love with this vanishing art form of the rainforest tribes. Collecting it was out of reach until he made the right connections and began to sell it. At first, I was interested in the people, and these objects are made by the people and kind of represents their culture and their beliefs. So it, it's not something they make for a commercial sale. Barrett is completely comfortable in the very adult world of art dealing. His prices are firm, his two-year business successful. So what do his teenage friends think about his part-time job? I haven't told them. Well, they're about to find out. They are about to find out. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Now, Max Barrett says his Amazon art dealership is not going to be his life's profession, but it may help pay for the medical school education he'd like to pursue. Richie says he's going to be a reconstructive surgeon. Well, gosh, I mean, the way he's going, he's, he's going to do it. How did he make these connections? I mean, 14 years old when he started. Yeah, exactly. He saw the exhibit at the Fresno Art Museum a couple of years ago. Uh, the man who whose uh, collection that was put him in contact with... Uh, uh, a dealer in Tucson, and he's been traveling to Tucson and picking up stuff like this ever since. See an armadillo here? Yeah. Actually, the stuff is, is not as, uh, as expensive as you might think. There are certainly some of those elaborate headdresses and long, huge pieces, maybe three, four $4,000. But, for instance, something like this is about $30, and this little ceramic figurine is $15, $16. So it's artwork that's disappearing that's also you know, within reach of uh, anybody who finds it interesting. Wow. All right, sure. Neat kid, yeah. yeah. Sure, what's it going to be like tonight? I like the armadillo. Well, uh, maybe not as dry as that armadillo is used to tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we could have a few sprinkles left in the valley as this moisture moves out.